Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Vicki and I'm Steph and today we're going to show you how to make a library ladder. Well, let's get started. To start, I ordered library ladder hardware on Amazon and bought two additional rails. I had a hard time getting the rails connected to each other, but once the rail was attached to the wall, it was plenty secure. Here mom and I are putting the rail in place. Off camera we drilled pilot holes through each bracket and then I'm screwing it into the rail. We were lucky enough that all of this went into studs, but if yours does not, you may need to add a backer board as we did in our sliding door project, and I'll put a link to that below. You also wanna make sure before you put the rail in place that you add the stoppers on the ends. The final ladder will be right under eight feet tall. The wood we're using here are three one by four select pine eight foot boards. We'll make the final cuts at the end, but to start, we're gonna cut the bottom of the eight foot side pieces at 12 degrees. Keep that little scrap, it's gonna come in handy. I'm marking every 11 inches starting from the bottom. This will be where the steps are placed. Before we cut out the steps, we wanna add a little curve so they're more comfortable to step on with bare feet. So we clamped down the eight foot board and routed one edge to give it a nice curve. I noticed there was a little bit too much coming off at first, so I recessed the bit just a little bit and started again. With that done, I cut the eight foot board into 12 inch sections. Then we tested out each step, placing them on the marks that I made earlier. Every angle used in this is 12 degrees and I did that using our carpenter square. The spot that says pivot, I kept flat against the board and pulled it out until it was at 12 degrees. And this right here is the 12 degree angle. But we realized the piece that we cut off the ends before, that was 12 degrees, is gonna be the perfect way to mark the step placement. Using the 11 inch marks, I leveled out the jig and drew a line to get a 12 degree angle. I continued this for each step. Then we glued and clamped down each step, making sure we were right on the angle mark and that they were standing square. After 24 hours, we took off the clamps and attached the other side. We used a level to make sure each side was parallel to each other. Then we clamped everything down. To secure the steps further, we're going to add two screws on each side of each step. I'm using our portable drill press to be sure they're nice and straight. I wanted to make sure these were placed in the same location for each step, so again, I used our 12 degree jig and marked two lines on it and placed it right in the middle of each step, then marked where the screws will go. This worked out really well, and I didn't have any issues with screws not going in correctly. Once one side was done, we flipped it over and marked this side, and again, I used the drill press to attach the screws. The screws we're using for this are Spax one and a half inch construction screws, which I like as they are the easiest to screw in and they have a nice look as I knew they were gonna be visible. With that done, it was time to attach the wheels to the bottom. First, I removed the wheel from the bracket so that I could get to the screw holes. Those need to be placed 3 4 inch from the bottom at a 12 degree angle. These were a little bit of a challenge as it was difficult to get the drill in place, but we made it work. Then I added the wheel back and flipped it over and did the other side. I repeated the same process 3 4 inch from the bottom at a 12 degree angle. Then we stood it up and marked the placement of the top hardware. I used a circular saw to cut off the excess and mom drilled pilot holes for the screw brackets. We 
We clamped it in place and screwed it in. And it works. Oh my gosh, it's too scared. I'm scared. Why? What if it breaks? Then we have to just... Well, I get but then I fall. Okay, look at the bottom step when I go up it and tell me if it flexes any. With your eyes. I can look for the camera. No, no flex. No flex? No flex. Okay, the next step? No. Next. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, that's cool. The kids are gonna love that. Oh my gosh. Mom and I both tried it and it held up perfectly. Then I just secured the stoppers with an Allen wrench. And later on we took the ladder down and we sealed the whole ladder with Danish oil. What we learned. So this was easy, that's what we learned. Um, I actually did a bunch of research to figure out how to make one of these ahead of time and it actually was very straightforward and I thought the angles were gonna be really hard because that's a struggle we have, I have, and um, it was, they were all the same angle, so that was not hard to do. Mm -hmm. Now if you don't want to make one of these on your own, Rockler has, not only sells the hardware, but they also sell the wood, so it's basically a kit, so you just put it together. I knew I wasn't going to be using this a lot, and it was just pretty much going to be me using it, so I didn't make this like really hefty, um, but I wanted to make sure it would hold my weight. So I will say right now I'm 150 pounds, and this holds me perfectly fine, it holds mom, so um, so I would say, and, and there's no give in it, so that I was worried about. I literally didn't know until the end if this would just break <laughs> apart. But it um, held up well. It is, the wood itself is light, and so sometimes when it, you roll it, it um, kind of makes a little bit of noise because there's not a lot of weight um, of the ladder to hold the hardware down. You know, if I was doing something that I was going to use a lot, I would make it a little bit more robust, a little bit bigger because, you know, my knees kind of don't fit completely here. But I needed it to be small for the space, so uh, it's exactly what I wanted it to be and more. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. If you want to see the project of why we did this, which is uh, we installed a Lego train around this room, if you want to see what this was all uh, for, we'll put a link to that video below. And thanks for joining us. If you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com. Bye. Yes, this is a Lego book. This is Harry Potter. Um, this is Charms class. Mm -hmm. So There's three others. Yeah, so lift and flick. <laughs> is that what the... What the oh, this that's how you do... I've um, never heard that. Lift and flick. Never heard that. You have seen the book, the movie. I. I I've seen one movie. You're embarrassing, Mom. I know, I just... You're embarrassing. I've read like one book, I think. Oh my gosh.